In this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of an unknown feature in Google Forms. Have you ever had a student type in their name or ID number incorrectly into a Google Form or select the wrong teacher or class period from a drop down menu? Well, in Google Forms, it allows us to use pre filled answers for our students. So, no more wrong ID numbers or misspelled names. So, what I have here is just a simple Google Sheet that, already had, that I've already collected data from from my class for a project. So I have their student names and their project titles already typed. I want to send out a pre-filled form to my students so that way they can evaluate their peers. So that way then students do not type in uh, their student names incorrectly or type in the project title wrong. So what I have is just the, the basic form here, collecting their email address, the student name for the project, the project title, and this is where they can already rate their project. So just a very basic, simple form, okay? Now, I want to populate and collect that information. So let me show you how to do that. So what you'll need to do is when you're editing the form, you're gonna come on up to the three dots. Go ahead and select where it says get pre-filled link. It's going to open up a new tab for you. And this is where you can start setting the parameters on what you want pre-filled. Since the students are going to be evaluating, I want to leave the email address alone so that way they can, uh, uh, the computer can collect that when students log in. But I want the student name of the project to be pre-filled. So what you'll want to do is for text options, I would recommend that you type in in all capitals and no spaces. So that way then when you start editing the link, uh, which I'll show you here in just a few minutes, that way it's going to be able to easily identify that. So I'm going to type in student name again, but I'm going to leave that in all capitals and no space. I also want to have the project title uh, pre-filled as well. So I'm going to do the same thing here. You can also pre-fill other question types instead of just text. Uh, you can pre-fill drop-down menus or multiple choice or any of that. When you're done, come on down where it says get link and then go ahead and copy that new link. Now I'm gonna come on over to now my spreadsheet and this is where I'm gonna start working on some of the cool uh, magic behind the scenes. To get started, you'll want to start doing a, a, a simple function here. So I'm going to type in the equal symbol and then start typing in hyperlink. Okay. Now from here, you'll want to start with your quotation mark and then I'm going to paste that link that I just copied. Close it up with a quotation mark. And now for my link, I want it just to simply say click here instead of having this massively long text. So to do that, I'm going to add a comma and then another quotation mark, and then I'm going to type in click here, close it up with the quotation mark, and then end it with the parentheses and select enter. Now it says click here. Check it out. So here's my pre-filled with student name and project title. Now I'm going to show you how to um, auto-fill that with your information from your spreadsheet. To do that, you'll want to edit that link. Okay, now from here, it doesn't, uh, it looks kind of daunting, but it's not too bad. So now I'm able to identify and pick out where it says student name and project title. So I want to select where it says student name. Okay, and then I'm going to replace that with this little code here. So I'm going to do quotation mark, and sign, and sign, quotation mark. I'm going to use that for both of where it says student name and project title, and then, um, We'll kind of go forward from there. So again, I'm going to re-highlight where it says student name. Now again, I'm going to replace that with the quotation mark and symbol and symbol quotation. Okay. In between the two and symbols, I'm going to select in between there. And now I'm going to go to the cell where it says go to student name. I'm going to select my first student just in time. Okay. And then you can see here it replaced it with that cell A2. And now I'm going to do the same process now for the project title. So I'm going to select the project title or highlight it. Again, I'm going to replace that with quotation mark, and symbol, and symbol, quotation mark. Go in between the two and symbols. And then I'm going to select the cell. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 
and then select enter. Now I click on where it says click here. And now you have a brand new form with pre-filled information for just in time and where in the world is Carmen San Diego. I can send this form now to my class and they can uh, rate and give him um, the feedback. For my three other students, I don't need to do all that work. I'm just going to let Google Sheets do it for me. So I'm going to select this little uh, blue square, drag them down for my other students and it auto filled it for me and it's giving me the link. So I can go to Bill Nye here, check out the pre-filled link. There's Bill Nye, can you live on a diet of potato chips? Boom, done. So this tutorial was to show you how you can use pre-filled links and push that new link out to your students.